I saw some criticism. People say the punches weren't really necessary. Maybe they were super necessary. Why were they necessary? What do you mean, why were they not necessary? Because he was already knocked out at that point. But it, the referee hadn't pulled me off. And my job is to hit somebody till the referee pulls me off. So to those people, I would say, maybe don't watch him and may go back to soccer. <laughs> well, you won't find anyone with more energy on fight week than this man. Platinum Mike Perry's back in the building, Michael. Look at this. I mean, how can you not love this guy? Listen, is he the most politically correct? Is he like, you know, the guy you want to bring home to meet your grandmother for Sunday lunch? No, but if you like fights, you watch the UFC, you want action, then Mike Perry is your man. And I'd say his wife is as well. The pair of them entertaining the crowd with their own little dance routine here. Love it. His longtime fiance, Daniel Nickerson, soon to be his wife because he Pardon says, me. after this fight. Uh, <laughs> Look at this. Love it. Well, Incredible. September is when they're getting married. I believe September. The Shoe Ibasa oh, no, himself. No, 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 no. Tied to Ibasa. Oh, throw up. He's going to do it. That is not his sneaker. Oh, of course it's not. That would be delicious. Oh, Cub Swanson getting in the act. Oh, God. The Shoeys. Look at that. Tied to it. Oh, Paul Felder. No Shoey for him tonight. He's got a main event with Dan Hooker coming up. Too, uh, Colby Covington was over there. I don't know if you heard, but the crowd was chanting. Colby and uh, giving him a hard time. He ha he ha was carrying a belt with him tonight. Would you consider fighting him at some point who, too? Who is it? Covington. What what weight? Uh, welterweight. I don't know who that is. So like, if we got somebody good to fight, that's who I want to fight. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> to go put down. Fried chicken and a can of Coke. Ah, you've missed the emphasis. It's chicken. Ah, Coke. fried chicken. Coke. Fried chicken and a can of Coke. <laughs> Embraces that as we can see. Megan, do you agree? I absolutely agree. You guys, there's Mike Perry. I was hoping they were going to pad the end. He is having the time of his life in there as well. These two respect each other. They love what they do for a living. And they are going to be ready to throw down as soon as this music stops. Cowboys longtime manager Alex Davis said to us on Thursday, the fact that Cowboy Oliveira was a former rodeo bull rider really helps him with relaxation when it comes to fighting another man in an enclosed space. When you've been in there with a bull who is five times your size, a human being ain't that bad. But this is a fight in terms of the matchmaking that just made all the sense in the world. It shall be done here in a matter of moments. And a big spot for Alex Cowboy Oliveira. I know we're all having fun right now, but big picture for Cowboy, a disappointing outing against Gunnar Nelson. Go. I mean, has to be for gold. Right, I mean, it's did you see Dana? Or? I, I haven't seen, well, just in the cage, I haven't yeah. seen him after, but I, I don't think nobody could could argue. No, you know? no, no, no. I'm not God or none, but I just baptized two individuals back to back, you know, so I think <laughs> the, the belt is the only thing that's left for me, you know? Okay. Sometimes you just don't want to be around your opponent. Sometimes you you don't want to be present in front of them when you're feeling you know weak because your weight cuts in. I mean, they both seem quite fresh to me. Uh, I did notice that Max wasn't drinking anything and... Uh, well, we've got the swans in the background. Nice, yeah. um, we got uh, Max wasn't drinking anything at all, and Volkanovski had a yeah. big, like a gallon jug with him, and he was chugging water all day. So 